Hello guys, welcome to another few money. Today, Tuesday, we are going to check Bitcoin's price and um, a few things from yesterday also, but I have some good news, uh, some indications of um, pretty much positive stuff. So let's go directly to screen share and we will start as usual by the price to time model. So let's zoom in and see where we are in the cycle. So this is the, uh, the yellow cycle is the 2017 bull cycle that culminated in December on the 17th of December 2. Um, and the blue one is the 2013 cycle. So, so far we are exactly on track. So we had this uh, big correction in 2017. We also had this big correction now on the cycle you see here, the green and red bars, which is the current one. The 20 week SMA continues to point down. The 200 week SMA continues to go up, although not as steep inclination as we had before. So I would say that regardless of we being below the 20 week SMA, we are still on track to fulfill what we hope will happen by the end of this year. So let's see how everything goes. And the RSI on the price to time model, which you guys know already, it's a weekly RSI is also turning up and continuing up for this week also. We are still a bit away from the orange dashed line here, which is the minimum RSI from the 75% correction mid cycle 2013. But anyway, we are really close and probably going back there to the orange dashed line. So that's it for the price to time model. No big news today. We are still on track. Let's go to the MRI charts and I will go to the weekly chart and this is not as usual it is as usually is so i will um i will zoom in a bit here and this is something i um like however i think it should have been before so we should have been uh, having this arrow on the candle number six of the red count and this one should have been the bottom, the MRI bottom, and that would have been much better for the MRI indications for this weekly chart. However, having a, a MRI bottom warning, the orange arrow here, it's not bad. It's actually good. It's better than nothing. So as you guys know, we are still on a uh, red count eight red eight of the nine so we have uh, we still have one more week to reach the number nine if we don't go above that candle over there this will reset the count uh, sorry if we go above that candle on the next candle if we go above this opening price here this will reset the count so i would uh, prefer to continue with these prices down here instead of having a new candle next week which goes above that one there and then we reset the count and that's not uh, good because i would like to have an mri bottom so uh, in fact, what I want to say is I would like to have a nine red count and then a one green after that. <clears throat> Sorry for that, guys. Uh, so that's the weekly outlook. We are still maintaining this as the bottom for now. And I continue to have my 25% probabilities that we could see a new low going at least to the 50 uh, 50 period SMA, which in this case is the weekly. So the 50 week uh, simple moving average. Uh, the volume continues to uh, decline a bit for the last two weeks. So the current one and the previous one, the RSI continues to go sideways. The MACD gives me nice indication that the bearish momentum is ending. As you guys see, the gaps between the bars have been decreasing. So this shows that the bearish momentum is coming to an end and probably the bears have nothing else to sell. In fact, there were some news released today or yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, that report 3.2 billion um, sold in negative. So this means that for the last uh, few weeks, the ones that we have been coming down, 
3.2 billion um, dollars in Bitcoin were sold below the price of purchase. So that means that people have been uh, selling at a loss, which is, of course, a signal of weak hands. And that's good. I thank you all for that because I've been buying and, of course, I've been uh, profiting from your loss. So I have to thank you guys for having weak hands. OK, so this is the weekly. Let's check the daily. And I will try to remember to check the dominance chart today because someone asked me to do so. So I will do it when we are in the Pro Indicators framework, which is much nicer to check the dominance. So on the daily, we continue our accumulation. We are just going up and down and our down uh, limits have been around the 34K. Our upper limits have been around the 40K. So this is the range that we have been accumulating in. And you guys can see that this is increasing the volume per price level uh, having this um, this volume per price level has been forming this big uh, area here that will become support in the future of course when we finally break the 40k again to the upside so that is a good thing that we accumulate and also this accumulation will help us to be stronger when Bitcoin decides to go up again and start to uh, reach new all time highs. Of course, all this accumulation will be very, very good for that movement. The RSI continues to go sideways, so no big news there. The MACD started the second. So this is the second bar on the green and the blue line is again on top of the orange line, which is a bullish indication for the daily chart. So that's it for the daily. Let's quickly check the four hour and see where we are. We have been just moving sideways for some time already for all these periods of four hours. We are again on a, four, uh, a one to four candle correction after a green count one to five. We continued for this uh, small correction of four candles here, but we are now on a green again, a doji candle. So this is very undecided where to go and we have to wait for some movement to have an idea or a better idea of what the market is planning to do. Although I believe, as you guys know already, 75%, I say that we are going up from here and 25% chances of seeing a new low from here. So my chances, uh, my bigger chances are that we are going up. So we should see some kind of bigger movement in the next week or the current week or even the next week after this one, uh, we should see some kind of movement, uh, movement to the downside or to the uh, upper side. So let's see what happens. The RSI continues to be completely neutral here on the four hours and the MACD has been declining a bit for the last four candles as it corresponds, of course, to the one to four candle correction on the on the red. So no big news there, but we still have the blue line above the orange, which indicates an overall movement for the bullish side. The uh, the BitMEX funding rate is just a bit, a bit bigger than yesterday, I guess. Yes, this is about 0 0.008. So we are almost at 0 0.01 and nothing really uh, big news over there. So we don't discuss this anymore. BitMEX funding rate has been very quiet these last few days. So no news there. Let me just confirm on the one hour that this is the level that is currently happening yes uh, 0 0.0079 so it's 0 0.008 and exactly as uh, we've seen before so let's go to the pro indicators and before anything else i will just change this to the bitcoin dominance before i forget to do it because i was asked to so let's go to the weekly where we can actually check the bitcoin dominance as it should be checked so you guys know already, this is my Fibonacci, this Uber Elite special Fibonacci uh, plot here, which shows me the green and the red uh, levels, which are exactly um, the indications for the 38, um, sorry, for the 23 and for the 76 uh, Fibonacci's. So everything below the red or everything above the green is good in this case. 
and that means that for this retracement we have been having here we are still very close to the low side so also no big movements there um, we could see if the altcoins decide to um, start some kind of exponential rise again we could see the dominance go back down below the red area which would be a very good sign to trade uh, or to arbitrage your altcoins for bitcoin because everything below the red means that bitcoin could start a new movement out to the upside uh, in this case, I'm not going to talk about the green because we are not there, just the red. So every time Bitcoin dominance is below the red level, it means that it's good to arbitrage into Bitcoin again, because probably we will see, or the biggest probability is that we will see a reversal on the price action to the upside. In this case, it's not price action, it's Bitcoin dominance, but it works the same way. So that's my understanding of the Bitcoin dominance right now. So we are still inside the red area. There's nothing to do here uh, except if we come back down below the 40.4% level of dominance in Bitcoin. You guys know already that anything above the red and below the green with going towards the center, of course, being the center, the biggest area of that uh, designation that I like to call it is the dump zone. So this is the no trade or no arbitrage area for me. It is exactly in the middle of the red and the green area with the biggest focus in the center, of course. So that's what I see for the dominance. We have been very quiet for the last few days too, over the last few weeks. We have been just jumping around this level. So we have to wait and see what big movements will uh, bring the dominance up or down and then take our decisions. Of course, you guys should have a plan for the case that we go below the red again for Bitcoin dominance or for the case that we will stay above the red for some time, probably for a new um price um price not price dominance reactivation to the upside okay so that's it let me take a look here at the bitcoin chart on the pro indicators framework we have been sustaining this level this would be the breakout level to the downside which has been sustained and this is very good news this is very good news i see the trend channel going up again a lot as compared to the previous um uh, downtrend um downtrend action here so if we zoom in a bit you guys can see that now the trend channel the red zigzag is going up again just a smidge just a hair but the green one which indicates the possible bottom for this um for this price action that we have been having in bitcoin has jumped a lot to the upside so the indicator is saying that we now have this as the probable uh, first uh, support for the price action which means that we probably have to reduce the 25 percent chances of going to see new lows so in this case the trend channel is setting a new bottom around 32k and this is very good so this reduces my chances of we seeing a new low so i could probably say that we have now 20 percent chances of a new low 80 percent chances of going back to the upside uh, the context however declined a bit but not the gap between the gray boxes so this is the continuation just a, a smidge to the downside here on the resistance and on the support but the trend channel looks very good it's going to the upside again so that is good news and it reduces the probabilities of a new low so this is it for the pro indicators framework I would jump today, I will jump, no, I will not jump the dollar because the dollar, I saw it before and the dollar is now making a new move to the downside. So I would just like to show you guys this. Although we have a warning for an MRI bottom, which I don't like in the dollar, I would prefer the dollar to be on a, a red two or three of a nine count. Uh, but however, it's not so bad that the dollar is again going down, retesting the support. I would love it to go below the 89 on the Dixie, on this uh, index for the dollar. You guys know already the DXY. 
but the next candle will be an MRI bottom if we continue this pace. So it will be probably a reversal for the dollar unless we have consecutive MRI bottoms, which would be amazing, amazing for Bitcoin, by the way. So I just want to I just wanted to show you guys about the dollar uh, MRI warning for an MRI bottom next week. So I hope that we are able to break this support around the 89 before we reach the MRI bottom next candle. So I will just uh, very quickly show you guys gold exactly as I predicted. This is an MRI top. The MRI predicted, and I just showed you guys this, but I had to make fun of this uh, phrase. So previous week was an MRI top. Now we have uh, been going down for since the week started, so two days ago, and probably the MRI will be right, and we will have some kind of a one to four uh, candle correction. So let's take a look at the final chart that I want to show you guys today. And we are already very extended in time. So this will be quick. Yesterday, I was discussing that we have been in a bull cycle since a long ago. And if you take this first trend line here as the first part of the cycle, we have started this in 2018. After this big, actually 2019, after this big 14 week accumulation we had here. However, the trend line started at the bottom of 2018 and then we started for the first time to see some signs that the bull market would, would come except for this uh, FUD, COVID FUD in March 2020. So this was my argument yesterday on the previous video, the episode 60, which you should see, by the way. Uh, you should also uh, subscribe for the new a telegram channel that we have not channel group we have a telegram group now where everyone that follows this channel can also discuss their ideas about crypto and many other things and be in contact with me when i'm available of course i will be there posting so you should go to t.me slash fu money and subscribe that on the telegram page if you use a browser or if you use telegram app directly you can search in the search box for fu money and i'm sure you will find it it will have three icons just after the name and you know what those icons are because i always post those icons in twitter also but the real important thing that i wanted to show you guys lies here down here almost we can't see it if we don't look but this is the important thing for today, which I said it would be good news. And here it is. We finally see the daily MACD crossing over the orange line. And this is very important. This is one of the first big uh, indications that we might have achieved our bottom for now. And we will probably continue to the upside with some kind of reactivation soon. If not this week, probably next week. But I see this as a very, very good signal or sign that we have achieved a bottom. Probably if this movement continues to the upside for the next few days, you will see it even better. The blue line moves much faster than the orange line. So it will be hard for the orange line to cross over again to the other side. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me just stop the screen share, go back to the main uh, screen uh, and prepare all the things for the exit. So if you enjoyed the content, you guys know already what to do, as Bichimoku said, since almost the first videos in this channel, you guys have to gently touch the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Telegram group. This is t.me slash fu money if you use a browser. If you use the app and want to search in the search box, just write fu money and I'm sure you will see it immediately. So guys, as usual, I will leave you now with the wise words of Sarge uh, about the markets. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. And there you are. Uh, okay, let's roll and be really careful out there. Okay, guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye and see you tomorrow.